Welcome to Showcase Richmond, I'm Matt Donardo. The Virginia Home for Boys and Girls, or VHBG, is the second oldest boys home in the continuous service in the country. Now serving girls too, VHBG offers programs, education, and residential care to at-risk youth and their families. VHBG is the focus of today's community spotlight, made possible by Haley Buick GMC. And with us now is Ernie Simopoulos, the general, man general sales manager, that is, of uh, Haley Buick GMC, and John Darty, the chief administrative officer of VHBG. Welcome to both of you. Thanks very much. Ernie, Thank why did you want to focus on the VHBG today? Well, Matt, you know, we, we try to give back to the community in a lot of different ways, and it's the old adage, better to give than receive. And I can actually remember... Uh, Going out to John's place, I hate to say it, about 35, 40 years ago, I'm giving away my age, but helping uh, give back and, and, and helping the kids out there. Back then it was just a boys' home, quite frankly. It was way out Broad Street, it was really in the country out there back then. But uh, him and his uh, team really uh, fill a great need, and I think that's what you'll find out when he goes into it a little bit more. Let's find out a little bit more about John. John, once again, welcome to Showcase Richmond. Give us some of your background, and then we'll talk about VHBG. Sure. I have been a in the health and human services industry for over 15 years now, primarily focused on working with kids and families as a clinical social worker. And since that time have evolved to my work with Virginia Home for Boys and Girls. And today I oversee our programs there, our full continuum, including our alternative education program for kindergarten through 12th grade, um, our group homes, our teaching family homes uh, on campus, as well as our community-based uh, therapeutic resources. VHBG, Virginia Home for Boys and Girls, you've expanded to, to girls now. Yep. You really reach a wide cross-section of our population and they really, you really do great work to help these at-risk youth. Yeah, absolutely. So our, our real focus is in the child welfare arena and really trying to find ways to best help families find healing, find the, the teaching and the skills they need to be safe and healthy and successful um, as a whole family. And mm -hmm. so we work hard with kids who come through the child welfare system, through our alternative education placements and special education to make sure that they have the resources they need to achieve the success they desire and that we are putting families back together. Now, you, of course, it takes money to run your services. We all know that. So talk about some of the events that are coming up soon that can help raise money for VHBG. Sure, we have a series of events, probably our, our best known are our golf classic. Mm -hmm. uh, that will be happening in June. We'll have our band together event that occurs uh, towards the end of September. Um, and one of the most exciting is our program that we do in partnership with Endorphin Fitness, which is a community-based youth triathlon. And then the one that's coming up closest to now is Restaurant Week with Henrico County, and that will be happening in April. And so for every uh, lunch dollar, that you get a dollar for every lunch that's sold, two dollars for every dinner going to VHBG, which is great because all of a sudden this money's coming in and it's really helping out your services. How can the uh, community get involved with VHB, VHBG and, and contact you all? Yeah, so the best way to reach us, of course, is on our website or follow us on Facebook. Our website is vhbg.org. Um, there are a variety of ways that we invite the community to be involved. We have a young professionals group um, that are a group of volunteers that work with our kids directly and, and engage them in a variety of activities in the community. Um, we have board membership. We have volunteer opportunities that folks come in all the time. And, of course, we always host uh, folks to come out and take a tour of the campus and learn more about our model and our approach to care. Very good. And there's the information, again, to get in touch with with VHBG. Ernie, let's shift gears, come back to you. Obviously, really a great organization to focus on. They do a lot of good, but let's focus a little bit on Haley Buick GMC. What's going on there right now? Well, yeah, we also do sell Buick and GMC trucks there also, so we encourage people to come by, test drive one one day, and uh, in fact, even if you don't buy ours, we'll be glad to buy yours still, but we've got a great assortment of used cars, fantastic service department, work on any make or model, so there's a lot of reasons to come by and see us. We see the logo behind us. You're a member of the Better Business Bureau, which means a lot. Absolutely. Uh, Barry's uh, very well tied in with that. He, he gives back in a lot of different ways, and uh, we just try to do things the right way. All right. Let's well, find out more about Haley Buick GMC by visiting them on the website, HaleyBuickGMC.com, or just stop on by. They're located about a mile west of the Midlothian and Powell Height Interchange on Midlothian Turnpike. Remember, they do more than just beautify the roads of Richmond. They help the community.